two brothers have to work together to stop a game from taking over the whole world. We're going to explain the 2023 movie Spy Kids Armageddon today. Tony and Patty are two secret spies whose job it is to break into a cave and stop a man named the King from starting the end of the world. They need to use their magnetic boots to get to the control box without being seen by the guards so that the end of the world doesn't happen. When they get there, Patty tells Bronson to watch the hallways while she and her brother try to stop the end of the world. In 15 seconds, the whole world will be in danger if nothing is done. So, they change their plan, and both of them make it to the elevator before a huge monster grabs them. But at that very moment, they fall through a trapdoor, and if anyone finds them, their whole plan could be ruined. The day before they broke into the cave, the two siblings were at home with their real-life spy's parents. Tony tried to break the rules so he could play computer games before school because he loves them so much. The couple needs to protect the environment and make sure their kids have normal lives. But Nora wants to tell the kids the truth and say that she and her husband are secret spies. That morning, she is able to persuade Terrence that this is the best thing to do, and the two of them decide to tell everyone their secret. Right then, the school bus honks in front of the house, making the man glad that he doesn't have to talk to his kids about this right now. They go to work after the kids leave, and Devlin tells the agents what their next task is. Someone broke into the top secret server room of the OS, which is the company that the pair works for. They need to go to the office to catch the thieves and find out what they're doing. After killing the bad guys, Terrence looks into the laptop they used to break into the network. To get to the secret data, he has to beat the heck knight in a game. The man, who isn't very good at video games, decides to use Armageddon to break into the security system. He finds that those guys were just a distraction for the spies, who then use the giant robot to steal Terrence's watch. The Heck Knight gets away with Armageddon, and the couple has to figure out what he plans to do with the code he stole. These people don't know that the robot is a character in a new game called High Score, which Tony just won at school by beating everyone in a card game. An extremely rich man named Ray Kingston made High Score. The businessman is crazy about the game and is known as the King, which is also his username. Ray needs the Armageddon code to make people do good things for his big project. The knight tells him, though, that the code couldn't be found on the watch. The king then realizes that what he needs is in the agent's house and promises to break into the family's security system that night. After hours, Nora and Terrence talk about possibly removing the Armageddon code while the kids go outside to play. If it gets into the wrong hands, the whole world will be in danger. But Devlin tells them not to and tells them to keep guarding the code because it is the most powerful weapon his agency has. Because Nora can't get her husband to delete the code he made, she chooses to delete it herself. It was about to destroy Armageddon though, when Ray used the game to hack into the system and steal it. When Terrence sees what has happened, he goes to find the kids because he thinks they are the ones who put the system at risk. Even so, Tony tricks him, and he goes to sleep as if nothing happened. People around the world are being forced to play games in order to do simple everyday jobs. This is what the family learns the next morning. Some people are being locked out of their cars and smart homes, and to use their credit cards, they have to go through the trials of a game. The bad guys from high score then break into the family home, and while Patty tries to open the door, the couple has to fight them. As they try to get away, they see zombie skeletons coming out of the pool and ruining everything the family owns. Nora is so mad that she wants to fight the monsters, but Terrence stays safe with his wife and kids. The couple decides to tell their kids that they are secret spies now that they can't keep it a secret any longer. Their kids are shocked to find that their house is full of secret passageways and high-tech gadgets. The siblings get into an autopilot car that will take them to a hiding place when they get to the garage. Nora then gives Patty a necklace. To keep the zombie skeletons from getting to the kids, the woman and her husband will have to stay behind. Nora tells her daughter to wear the necklace around her neck at all times so she can find them. Once the kids get away, other bad guys in the game start to chase them, and their autopilot is hacked. Tony chooses to switch the car over to manual control so that they can't be caught, and Patty is able to get rid of the bad guys. So that people don't follow them to their hideout, their next job is to lead them wrong. When they get to where the geepiest says they should be, the kids understand their parents sent them in the wrong direction because there is nothing there. But they quickly learn that there is a cave under the lake. When they go there, they are met by a hologram of their mother, who shows them the whole hiding place. The two brothers have food and comfortable beds to sleep in. They can also use spy gear and a training room to learn how to take care of themselves. 
As they look around their new home, Terence and Nora are locked up in a cell, and everything points to a trap that they are about to walk into. When the couple walks into the next room, they meet Ray. The person who made the game asks them to sit down and talk. Terence asks Ray why he wants to use the Armageddon code to make people play video games after he has sat down on his throne. At that moment, the man says that his goal has always been to help people make better choices, and he can now do it. Before Armageddon, Ray was supposed to be able to control things all over the world. However, that did not happen. In order to get them to help him fix the problem, he challenges them to a sword fight. They will be free if they win, but they will have to fix the code if they lose. During the fight, Ray finds the children to be holding the missing piece to finish Armageddon and steals Nora's tracker. After that, he can find them. At the same time, Patty and Tony keep looking in every part of the hideout for a spy suit. A generator? The boy will get a special suit when he goes into the machine, and his sister will do the same. Now they have to get ready for any danger that comes their way, and use the training room to get better at being secret spies. The two eat a bowl of cereal together after a long afternoon of training. Patty meets Bronson, a robot crab, and they become best friends. A few hours have passed since they left their parents' house, and Patty decides that everything bad in the world is their fault because they let the king hack into their home computer through the game. The young people decide to make things right and stop the end of the world. All of a sudden, a group of secret spies show up and say they work with their parents. But Tony remembers that his mother told them not to trust anyone, so the kids decide to attack and use the traps their parents set in the hideout to get rid of the bad guys. Bronson comes up to Patty while she is hidden and gives her a grenade. The girl then throws the bomb at her enemies, who get hungry after the blast. When the agents are done eating everything in sight, the kids try to get out of where they are hiding, but Devlin catches them. They then find out that these guys are real spies and are taken to the OS. At the same time, High Score's bad guys are watching from afar and are angry that their targets are being taken away in a big car. Patty and Tony find one of the few OS cars that hasn't been hacked when they get to the company's headquarters. Devlin tells them that his agency's whole system has been blocked for the last 12 hours. Because of this, they need the kids' help to get past a level in the game so the spies can get back into the system. She sets Bronson free, and Devlin finds out that he has the other half of the code now that all the spies are online. Infecting every device in the world with his worm would make raking of the world if he could just steal this piece. When the kids hear this, they think the king is to blame for everything. But the FBI broke into his studio that morning and couldn't find him. The man then uses Patty's necklace to find Ray and two of his agents who have been caught. All the lights in the office go out at that very moment because the base has just been attacked. When the bad guys break in, the girl hides half of the code so the bad guys can't find it. But Devlin doesn't trust the kid to keep it safe, so he takes the key from her. The heck knight suddenly shows up and takes the agent's code. The kids choose to use the spy boat to find him. When the bad guys dive with their subs, Patty tells Bronson to turn on air mode, and the three of them fly straight to Ray's hideout. After a few minutes, they get there and are about to hit a wall. They quickly realize though that it was all a dream, and they make it through the opening without getting hurt. After landing, the two use their glasses to figure out how the cave is built and find that a system of holograms covers the whole hideout. At the same time, the couple stays in their cell and Nora tries to find a way out to get to her kids. Because his wife is asking him how to break that code, Terence chooses to tell her the truth. He wasn't the one who made Armageddon. This project was being worked on by the man, but he got stuck at a certain point of it. Then, Tony broke into his office one day and revealed the last piece that was needed to finish it. The boy couldn't use the computers in his house after that day, and he never knew why. Because Tony has always liked games, he thought Armageddon was just a video game. He had no idea that he was making the world's strongest weapon. Once the kids have downloaded the cave map, they hear footsteps and have to hide from Ray's guns. The king then shows up, and the kids learn that Armageddon is almost over. With their glasses on, the two can see that the bad guys are actually robots that can sense the attacker's presence at that very moment. The kids decide to jump and use a hook to hold onto the bridge while the robots leave just as the monsters are about to catch them. Since Tony and Patty lost their parents, they rush to the jail to find them and finally free them. When the couple finds out that their children have been able to find them, they are very happy. But their joy is short-lived because the king is about to use Armageddon to control devices all over the world, and they are very worried. The group decides to split up. 
The couple goes to the Ost to ask for help, while the children are given the job of stopping the end of the world because they are the only ones with magnetic boots that let them move around without being seen. The two siblings have to go to the lift, but they can't get to the control panel. On the way, they fall through a trapdoor and find the central computer. When Tony looks at those codes, he knows they are his and realizes he made them. This means that by going backwards, he starts Armageddon instead of stopping it. At that time, the bad guys show up with his parents, and Terrence finds out that Ray still couldn't use the code even with the missing piece. The king knew that Tony was the only one who could fully use the weapon's power, so he set up a fake countdown to make the boy do it for him. Before going ahead with his plan, Ray tells him that Vargos, the bad guy they stopped years ago, was his father. He was very smart and used his skills to make the country better, but Vargos used the wrong methods to carry out his plans, even though he meant well. Then, instead of letting him use his talent for good, Oss agents broke into his lab and destroyed everything he had made. After that, the scientist spent the rest of his life in a secret jail. Now Ray wants to carry on the work that his dad started, and he promises that high score will make the world a better place. The king flees in his capsule after getting the last piece of his puzzle, and the family is finally free again. For now though, it's too late. The Armageddon worm has already spread to every device in the world. But Patty thinks there is still a way to beat Ray. She says they can beat the Maker if they use the virtual reality modules to get into the game. Ray's robots surprise the family when they get to the game room, but Patty stops them from striking with her grenade. The four people then take their seats and are moved into the game. They quickly learn that they have been sent straight to the last stage, which is the hardest to win. Getting to the big figure to find the king is the first step. To get there, the four of them have to fight off these zombie skeletons that are in their way. Nora and Terrence learn how to use the skills of their characters to beat the bad guys and help their kids beat the bad guys before time runs out. Patty's character changes and gets even stronger after she gets rid of the heads. The group has to beat the king as the last challenge now that they've gotten the statue, but only one player can go into the arena to face him. Because Tony is a better player, he chooses to face Ray while the rest of the family fights the Heck Knight. During this battle, the winner is the first person to zero out their opponent's life. Ray is sure that no one can beat him in the world he created. The platform they are standing on suddenly falls apart, letting out a river of fire. Ray hits the boy with his staff to knock him down. After killing the skulls, the three finally get to the Knights Arena, where Terence is thrown away with a single blow. While Nora goes to get her husband, Patty hits her opponent with her powers, but the knight blocks her attacks with his sword. After being almost crushed, Patty is pushed away and about to fall off a cliff when her enemy comes up behind her and the rock falls apart. Right then, the girl's parents show up to help, and Terence ends up saving the Heck Knight. Because of this act of kindness, the fighter vows to be loyal to that family, and the three of them manage to get away without getting hurt. Everyone is scared about Tony because there are only two minutes left. It's a big job for the boy because the future of the whole world depends on him. When Terrence sees that his son is in danger, he chooses to help him, even though it's against the rules. If he hits Ray with his blow, the bad guy will win. To stop the attack, Tony chooses to use his own body, but he ends up dying a lot. With one push from his enemy, the boy is out, and the king is happy about his win. At that time, Tony activates a legendary skill called One Hit, which ends his opponent's life with a single hit. Ray needs to keep his word and stop Armageddon now that he lost the fight. That being said, he thinks that the world will never get better if he does this. Upon hearing this, Tony is able to persuade the person who made the game to encourage people to become better versions of themselves instead of trying to make them follow his rules. Ray is moved by the boy's words and chooses to make him king. Tony then uses his powers to stop Armageddon. As soon as the job is over, all players are sent back to the spy manual. She and her brother are responsible for the prisoners' sentences because they beat them. Because of this, Ray is stuck in his own cave until the end of his own game. This gives him a chance to change his ways and become a better person. Terence and Nora learn that there is a better way to fight evil, and that they still have a lot to learn in order to be great spies from their children. That day, the couple decides to quit their job as OS agents after 20 years, and tells their boss they are going. Declan says he will also make some changes from that day on when he hears this and starts breaking the Armageddon code. The couple decides to give the Oss another chance because they are promised that things will be different from now on. Their children are also hired to work as spies with them. When the family gets a report on their mission six months later, they find that everything is back to normal. 
During this time, Ray also chose to stop being a bad guy and started using his technology to help people, just like his father did. What did you think about this movie? Write it down in the box below. Also, if you liked the video, please like and follow for more videos about movies. Have a nice trip.